Hello everyone! In the previous lesson, we discussed an overview of the scientific method. In this lesson, and actually in the next few lessons, we will discuss the scientific method in a greater detail. In this video, we will focus on writing the problem statement and hypothesis. Let's begin by defining the problem statement. A problem statement is a description of an issue that needs to be addressed. It provides the context of the research and contains the purpose of the experiment. Let's take the example that we used in our previous video. If you haven't seen it, I'll provide a link in the description box below. We wanted to find out which among the three citrus fruits, lemon, orange, and lime, has the highest content of vitamin C. This is where we will be obtaining our problem statement. But before we can write a problem statement, we have to identify our variables. Variables are elements that vary or change within a study. There are three kinds of variables, independent, dependent, and controlled. The independent variable is the one being manipulated in the study while the dependent variable is the one that responds to the changes in the independent variable. Going back to our example, our independent variable is a type of citrus fruit, while our dependent variable is the amount of vitamin C. Controlled variables are the ones that are kept constant in the experiment to avoid other factors to affect the dependent variable. When experimenting on the amount of vitamin C on our selected citrus fruits, we keep some elements constant, like temperature of the room, maturity of the fruit, amount of endophenol solution to be used, among others. Our problem statement then could be written as the purpose of this study is to identify which among lemon, orange, and lime has the highest amount of vitamin C. Notice also that we use the scientific names of the fruits to be very specific. Here are some more examples. The purpose of this study is to identify the effect of adding salt on the boiling point of water, where the independent variable is presence of salt and the dependent variable is the boiling point of water. Another example is, the study aims to identify the effect of different amounts of salt on the boiling point of water. The independent variable here is the different amounts of salt and the dependent variable is still the boiling point of water. Notice that the two experiments are almost the same, but not quite. The difference in the independent variables will call for a different kind of experiment. Note that it is also very important to emphasize words such as presence, amount, or concentration in your variables. Hypothesis, on the other hand, as how we defined it in our last video, is a temporary answer or solution to our problem statement. Important reminder, Hypothesis is not a wise guess. The hypothesis that we formulate is based on prior research, meaning we have a basis. So technically, we are not guessing. There are three kinds of hypothesis that we will be tackling in this lesson. Null, alternative, and cause and effect. Null hypothesis states that the independent variable does not have a significant effect on the dependent variable. For example, we can say that the presence of salt does not have a significant effect on the boiling point of water. Alternative hypothesis is the opposite. It states that the independent variable has a significant effect on the dependent variable. For example, the presence of salt has a significant effect on the boiling point of water. Last is the cause and effect hypothesis. It states that a certain manipulation in the independent variable will create a specific change in the dependent variable. For example, if the presence of salt has a significant effect on the boiling point of water, then adding salt will also increase the boiling point of water. Another important reminder, we choose the appropriate hypothesis for our research depending on our variables and mainly the goal of our study. To recap, let's practice by taking a look at this example problem. You may pause the video if you need more time to read and answer.
Did you get the answers correctly? If yes, congratulations. If not, well, practice makes perfect. Did you like this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to 